Good afternoon, everybody. It is October 28th or 29th or something like that. We're getting very close to Halloween. Some of this snow is starting to melt, as you can see. Um, but anyways, we're getting uh, the shoes at 1167 here a little bit on the muddy side. And the reason for that is because we are demoing uh, V-Wing by High Tech Egg. Um, yeah, we're giving this thing a whirly bird. Uh, no, High Tech Egg has, they didn't send this to us or anything. It was actually uh, our good friends over there at uh, RME. It was sitting on their lot. And so I'm like, ah, kind of want to try that. I've never tried something like this. You know, there's scrapers, there's bulldozers, and then there's this V-Wing thing. So I'm like, oh, I better give this thing a whirly bird. So the 2100 HD, I have no idea what that stands for. Um, I'm guessing it's 21 feet wide. I do believe they have a 30 something. Maybe it's just hence wider I don't know if it's built any heavier. I actually have no idea. This thing has more hydraulics and Trudeau has excuses I really don't know how to run this thing yet properly, but we are definitely trying and you'll as you know I like to learn with you guys um, You can tell that I've taken a little bit of paint off the blade. Uh, I was playing around with this thing uh, last night when we got it hooked up So let's take a peek shall we? All right, so like I said, a lot of hydraulics um, and everything is independent from the other. So for example, maybe you just want to, there, let's go back around over here. This is separate here. So maybe you just want to run this uh, V. Maybe you don't want this wing. You can fold this wing up out of the way or you can fold that one down if you want to drag some dirt with you or some snow. Maybe you're out dragging some snow. Uh, you can do the exact same on the other side. Uh, when you have your joystick, we have a joystick in the cab. I'll have to show you guys that. Although it didn't come with any mount. Don't ask me how I'm supposed to work with the joystick with no mount. But anyways, uh, you can tip the whole thing forward. Note not just this, but there's a hydraulic cylinder on the back. Uh, hence that um, gauge right there. Also, if you tip your hydraulic cylinder or your joystick to the right, that gauge right there will go to the right and also vice versa to the left. So you can tip this thing this way, you can tip it this way, you can tip it this way, you can tip it this way. Plus you have wing control here, wing control here, uh, that control there and the end, whatever you want to call that thing. And then up this here, I actually go up and down, hence this gauge. There's a lot going on with this thing. Let me tell you, I hooked it up last night. We took a little bit of paint off the blade there, as you can see. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, you can put your GPS bubble on the top, so that way you know what your elevations are if you actually want to do some draining. We are by far not nearly that high tech. We're just kind of playing around with this thing. We got like a day or so with it to kind of give it a, give it a good uh, workout. That's all I got. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I got. So let's go play around, shall we? I do believe I got a lot more power and horsepower and traction. Power and horsepower and traction. I need to go back to bed. Mike, go back to bed. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I mean. I got a lot of tractor on here for probably what I need. Um, so here's our joystick. That's it. So there's no... I was looking for a mount. You would think there would be a mount or something that you could fastened to something in your tractor so i got this thing down here like this or try and hold it with my knees and then uh my wings here let's just fire this thing up and we'll just do a bit of a walk through here okay oh yeah uh pet peeve from the little bit of playing that i've done uh since it's kind of snowy and muddy and melting and slushy and you know Friction drive is not your friend. Because when you're pulling this thing and you actually need to get some traction to the ground and you, you start turning it a little bit, it goes, and you're like, whoa, and you're just slipping your uh, drive wheel inside your track. Not a fan of friction drive. It gave me issues uh, when we were seating in the mud you get mud and water in there and then you can't turn with your drill and it does the exact same thing when you're trying to do some bee ditching anyways so my joystick hydraulic i got on this puppy i just pull it back and then you can work your joystick here like that okay so i'm gonna tip it back there you go 
that back cylinder, dip it forward. Oh, hold on here. Dip it forward. Okay. Then if I want to hold it to the right, all right, you can see that left. Oh, there you go. And uh, make sure you put it back to center right there. And then uh, this is my up down hydraulic right there. Just like that. And then I actually have the wings on this one. So uh, when I want to push down, I actually have it push down on the wing, lift up on the wing, right wing, uh, then uh, my left, just like so. And then if you want to uh, put those ends down, that's also on your joystick. like that oh and if you want to your other button on your joystick wait for it you can just get the thing right out of the way maybe you don't even want it Right? Okay, you guys get the idea. We'll put everything back here. All right. We should probably put those ends back on. And when I mean back on, I mean pull them back up, get them out of the way. I don't want to mess around with those. All right, let's put our wings back down a little bit. Let's go to number five on the setting. Five on the setting over here. Let's go on the back, let's go up to seven or something. I don't know why we should be different, but I feel like we should. All right, so you'll see that my back is actually down like this, but that's how I want it. And then when I uh, lower the nose in, then I'm more level. I don't know, we're just kind of winging it. Let's go take a look at something that we've already done. Let's just get out and take a look at here. Okay, so this here is a, uh... This is the main water run that goes, this is one of many that goes through this field. Um, and all this was established in here. And then ducks just put dikes in all over the place. Like they, they plugged it right solid, right? Like everywhere, put like a hundred of them in. So Donovan's been in the skid steer. He's popped most of those things out. Now we're just cleaning, that's what we're doing. We're just putting the blade down and we're just going right along, which was already established and I'm just flushing it and cleaning it. So up over here, I'm just scraping the sod away just so we can get a good run, a nice clean run. And then right where, uh, well, I'll have to show you, where Donovan filled these dikes in, uh, it's kind of rough. So this thing works really nice just to keep everything nice and clean for water to run away. All right, here's another example. So this was already a water run. And there was, I think, two dikes here. There was a dike right here and a dike farther up there. And so we pushed the, leveled the dikes out and then I just came in and just flushed it. Uh, but by doing so, you will create a pile, a ridge. That's probably hard on my ladder. Ah. By doing so, you're still gonna leave a little bit of dirt on each end, right? Uh, so what I do is I will straddle, well I don't straddle that, I kind of drive my track up on the edge and I kick my hydraulic hitch all the way over. So that way we can kind of flare this out like what I did right here, okay? So this side did look like this and then I made a second pass, leveled it out. I'll do the exact same over here, level it out and then we have a nice uh, bit of a washout I guess you could call it that we can seed through. Because you want to be able to seed through them, you want to be able to spray through them, and harvest through them. A big fan of the hydraulic hitch for this purpose though, that way I don't have to get so close. Although, you can't do a very nice job in the mud, in the snow, and sod. All right, that you're not gonna do the nicest job in the world, and that's fine. I'm probably still going to have to come over with a pro-till at some point and just kind of pro-till everything. 
uh, pro till it all down to make it nice and level. All right. It's kind of hard for me to do this and record at the same time, but bear with me. Down a little bit, there we go. Trying to adjust those wings. Again, you can do a lot of adjustments on here if you want to. Okay, over too far here. I'm filling my trench back in. There we go. Let's make a corner. Do that to this side here. Can't really see with that shadow, I apologize. I opened the door to make the window back there to see if it make any difference, but my window doesn't go far enough back. Just turn around here, we'll take a peek at what we did. Yeah, so there's another big dike right up over there. There was dikes everywhere. We removed the dikes and we just flushed it. You could spend a lot more time on it if you really were fussy to make it nice and level. But I am not nearly that fussy, mostly because we got so many to do, we're not gonna get them all done. And again, like I said, this is a main run. I just basically was scratching the grass off of it. Help it run a little cleaner and a little quicker. And then there was a dike here, and then there was another dike back there, and then I just kind of go right through it to smoothen it off to help it drain, because, yeah, you guys understand the reasons why. Again, here's another one. You can see that there's a culvert in here, and you can see that this actually comes like this. That's quite deep. I hit that, uh, I hit that uh, with a piece of equipment already, and it's like two feet deep. It's just a deep deep trench and it goes right through here we're actually sitting and we're straddling this trench right now and then it kind of levels off and goes out this way so we're gonna just drive forward oh. once I put it in forward motion here we're gonna back that blade over that trench and we're gonna just try and uh, level it out a little bit so that way I can cross it with equipment without having to worry about breaking an axle or something off okay in reverse Mike Oh yeah, maybe I should put my hitch back to center, eh? Maybe I should do that. There it comes. Hey, oop, went too far. There we go. Oh, we're spinning here, come on. This snow is slippery stuff. Beauty gonna lower it down here going forward I'm not looking to take a lot I think I'm taking more snow than anything but just kind of want to pick it up a little bit here there we go oh, hold on here pick it up a little more try to get this thing to turn there it is just like that sorry you're looking into the Sun I do apologize a little deeper. Get up a little bit. A little bit. I'm sorry, we'll do another pass with uh, going into the sun so you guys can see what we're doing here. All right, we'll try this again. So this is a slough. Well, it's not really a slough. It never used to be a slough. Uh, this is actually a bit of a natural water run, so we're just going to go down here very gently. We're just going to just nicely skiff the, the sod and the cattails and stuff up of here, and that was a dike there that was filled in. Let's see if I can do this. Let's this thing in forward motion. 
keep it nice and slow. I don't want to be that deep. So you can see that's the sod. looking at all my settings here you want to go really slow this is probably too fast I'm doing two miles an hour so if you ever hook a deadhead oh boy oh boy oh boy it get real serious real quick all right things are looking good again kind of kind of kind of look for the the bottom and out and down and then we'll go. Again, we're not going very deep. That's where a dike was. Okay, I believe it goes down this way. This one, there's a dike there. We're gonna pull that this way as well. And I'll go down over here. It's a big slew in the bottom. We're gonna consolidate. So we're not making, I know you guys got a bunch of questions. We're not making this water go on anyone else's land. It's not leaving this field, okay? All we're doing is consolidating. Which means we're taking water up, up on top of the hills and we're putting them down in the big dead heads in the bottom of the fields that don't go anywhere, okay? That's what we're doing here. get out and take a peek. Alright. So, we've hardly done anything other than we'd rip the roots out of the cattails here. We've gone about maybe that deep. Maybe. Uh, just trying to... Because water gets hung up in cattails and it slows it down and so on and so forth. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of feathering all these cattails. This is all cattails. Feathering the cattails off to the side. Feathering the cattails off to the side. That way it looks like that. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah, you guys got that. All right. So things are going pretty good. Um, see, there's a dike right there. So then we'll come into that one too because there's already this is already a natural water run. They just again ducks unlimited they uh dammed off every one and then and then some so we're just going to come in through here and make that nice and clean so that way that one can run into here and then down it goes into the sloop all right guys i'm going to keep learning how to run this thing i really can't run this thing and video at the same time there is way too many hydraulics and way too much going on But I will tell you, that will cut into the ground. Man, will that cut into the ground. Yeah, stop the tractor dead if you're not careful. And then uh, maybe tomorrow we'll uh, do some more rec recording with you. Uh, we should grease it. This thing's got uh, big grease blocks here. All these are grease nipples. All goes through those hoses to all the pins. And then there's another block of grease nipples on the other side. So this is where you want Susie Q. 
the Milwaukee Grease Gun or to whatever your flavor is. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get going. This pains me. I don't like seeing anything all wet, muddy. Hence the friction drive. This is your drive wheel, and it's mucky, right? And it just starts slipping in your tracks. So that is a problem. All right, you guys have yourself a good one. I'll catch you on the flip side. Adios, amigos.